Hi, Junior with today's thought. I'm recording this on Monday. You're seeing it on Tuesday. I'm going to be talking about over the weekend. Over the weekend, Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel, was on Face the Nation. Now, I'm going to play you a short clip from that interview, but it's a 14-minute interview, the whole interview, so I'm linking to it in the description, so if you want to watch the whole interview, which is worth watching, in my opinion, the link is in the description. Now, uh, well, one takeaway for me from this interview is just reinforcing for me why I don't watch network TV or the main stations that much, the, the mainstream media, because I was really astounded at the the um, the bias, of, well not just the, the bias of the interview from the interviewer Margaret Brennan, but the hostility, the hostility basically just she was acting as uh, I don't know, she should get a, a, a job with the, the White House, basically just representing the White House's position. Every question was just, they weren't really questions. They were arguing the administration's, the, the Biden administration's position. And when it, this is something that liberal um, interviewers do all the time, almost all the time, and it really, it, I really find it irritating. Maybe you do too, where they'll ask a question. The person being interviewed, the hostile interview, the person subject to the hostile interview, the um, the conservative, uh, whoever, because uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, he's an Israeli, but he is a conservative, but they'll ask a question, the the person will, uh, being asked the question, will answer, and then the the person asking the question then will say, no, yeah, 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 a quick re, uh, rebuttal, yada, yada, and now moving on, you know, then they start to ask another question. So one of the things you, you won't, I'm not showing it today, but you would see it in their interview, where uh, Netanyahu says, uh, I, you know, whoa, wait a minute, you throw these grenades out there and then you say they're moving on before I can answer, I'm going to answer. And that's what, that's one of the things I like about uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and frankly Trump too, that they don't let, they, they don't, but... Uh, Maybe, I don't know Trump as much, but definitely Netanyahu does not let that, that tactic succeed. So what I'm going to show you now is the same thing. Uh, they don't, obviously they, she's defending the administration's position, which is that they, which is to stop uh, Israelis, the, the IDF, the uh, Israel Defense Force, uh, the uh, army from going into Rafah to uh, in southern Gaza to clean out the the remaining brigades of uh, of Hamas, trying to save Hamas, which is really let's be frank about this. This is so obvious, uh, which is really to save the Joe Biden campaign because he's getting a lot of pressure from uh, from Michigan, from Arabs in Michigan, who are their large enough voting block that they can cost him the state, and that's what if I were, uh, well, I, I am a Jew, but I'm not a Democrat Jew. If I were, though, I would, I don't know why they don't do it. They would put everything to say right out to Joe Biden, okay, you have the um, the, the, the jihadist vote, the, 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 you have the, the anti-Semitic base of your, of the Democratic Party and, and the Arabs, you have them on one side, you have Jews on the other side, and you're trying to reconcile the two, and because you need the, the, the votes are both, and uh, game's up, and pick one. Tell us which which side you're siding with, and don't uh, none of this uh, obs obfuscation that uh, these false claims, uh, these attempts to play the middle. That's not going to work anymore. That's what he should do. He, he's not going to do it. Uh, and you know, as a conservative, I'm just going to sit there and just uh, you, you know enjoy my popcorn. But the. What you're gonna, I'm going to show you right now, this vid, part of the video, it's Benjamin Netanyahu just stating the obvious about the, they're trying to stop the, the war. And he's saying over and over, no, we are going to, we're through with that. We are going to win the war, period. No, there's no debate about it. And 
Well, here, here's Netanyahu in his own words. Watch for yourself. What Hamas has done is horrific. But President Biden has said your actions, sir, sir are over the top. Aren't you concerned that Israel is creating more terrorists than it is killing? I think that any civilian casualty is a tragedy, and I don't say that uh, half-heartedly. Uh, I lost a brother in war. I myself was wounded uh, and while releasing hostages uh, from a kidnap, uh, from a hijacked plane. I've lost friends in battle. Uh, I, I know what it means to lose friends and what it means to lose family members. So uh, we don't have an argument there. But this war has been forced upon us uh, by a cynical enemy that not only targets our civilians, has raped, beheaded, uh, burnt babies alive, killed children in front of, of their parents and parents in front of their children. Uh, this uh, enemy not only uh, targets civilians, but hides behind uh, civilians, Palestinian civilians. Mm -hmm. So they're committing a double war crime. Uh, I have to come back and say that in terms of the, the way this battle is fought, there is no parallel to the difficulty that we face. And John Spencer, the head of urban warfare at West Point, says that no other army has faced such a task. He, he gives one comparison. Yeah, that's not the he question gives I asked, a though. Comparison. Well, it is, but it, that's the answer. You can't say, oh, you, you uh, give immunity to the terrorists because they're hiding among civilians and uh, forcing civilians not to leave. So what do you do? You say, okay, we'll give you immunity. Hamas uh, 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 survives. Uh, we'll live to fight another, to commit mm -hmm. another massacre and another massacre. What would America do? Yeah. What would America do, Margaret, if you okay. face the equivalent of 29 11s, 50,000 yes. Americans slaughtered in one day, 10,000 Americans, including mothers and children, held mm -hmm. hostage? Would you not be doing what Israel is doing? You'd be doing a hell of a lot more. And all Americans that I talk to nearly all say that. So Israel has gone to extraordinary lengths, calling up people, civilians, yeah. Palestinians in Gaza, telling them, Mr. leave your home. Uh, sending pamphlets. Uh, we have done that effort. Hamas tries to keep them at yes. gunpoint. We'll clear them out of harm's way. We'll complete the job and achieve total victory, which is necessary to give a secure yes. future for Israel, a better future for Gaza, a better future for the Middle East, and a setback for the Iran terror axis. That's in all our interest. It's in America's interest, too. That's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would really be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.